and we're back with another review and this time as you can see we are reviewing the latest in the Transformers toy line um, it's the power of the primes we just uh, recently got the power of the primes uh, out here in the Philippines and uh, I just came back from uh, Toy Kingdom and got myself all of the what do you call this uh, wave one uh, for Power of the Primes and uh, we're gonna be doing something new I guess we're gonna be doing something different here we're gonna do an un unboxing and we're gonna unbox this guy and then try to transform him and do a quick review on on what's happening with uh, with this guy right here so we have Grimlock as you can see this is the packaging right there really nice art from Hasbro and you can even see the price now this is currently priced at uh, 1599 in your uh, you know local toy kingdom you can go to SM and buy it says your power of the primes you got the art of Volcanicus right there he is a combiner and we'll see the combined mode you can see here the really nice product shots how to transform him eight is there eight steps and the very curious very uh, curious uh, symbols for Power of the Prime. So I, I do believe the story is going to be revolving around, uh, you know, Prime Masters now. So there. Uh, so let's get this guy open. And we have our trusty uh, cutter. So we're going to come open like that. And uh, just take this out. Oops. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, comes with these things. So he has a bio card and a transformation which we'll check out later and let's free him from his uh, cardboard prison let's throw that away and there he is okay so we're gonna throw that too and uh, there he is in his plastic prison right there uh, let's try to cut him out You gotta need some good old cutters right here. So that fell off already. Uh, ouch. Uh-huh. And let's try to cut this thing here. And so if you're a kid doing this, just try to be careful. Oh, that's the, what do you call this? The uh, rubber band. Let's try to cut that there. And there we go, he's free. So let's just... Take out these little weird thingamajigs. So this is, I guess, the feet for the combiner. Uh, let's take out the other feet. Wait, wait a minute. So there's no gun? That's not sad. There is no gun. There is no... Uh, there is no gun. There is no sword. And that's just really it. So... These are the pieces that comes along with them. Let's get out these weird things here. Um, yeah. This is the uh, Grimlock right there. Ooh, the the joints are tight. Hmm. So we got that there. Oop, it opens. Uh, let's check it out. Oh, there's uh, there's some waist swivel right there. Um. Soft ratchet, really hard ratchet, nice, and uh, no light piping. I mean, we got the head right there, and you see the back. He is kind of light for a Voyager class, if you ask me. I mean, it's it's something that I didn't expect. He, it, it feels light compared to the other Voyager classes that we have. I mean, I think it's, uh, I think the Titan Returns Voyager classes are kind of heavier. He feels lighter. Um, I like the clear plastic over the, what is this, bronze? This is not gold, this is bronze. Um, it's, the metallic gray is kind of okay. And the stickers are not so, yeah, so terrific. You kind of feel cheap. Okay, so 
let's just put him there. He comes along with this. I guess this is the, uh, what is this thing? Uh, it looks like a matrix. So like, I, mean, I guess maybe a, an enigma combination. I don't know. Uh, these are the new combiner legs or foot. Oh, wow. They're ratcheted. It's kind of hard. Can you put them here? No, you can't. I mean, that would look good, though, if you can do that, right? Right? Yeah, that, that would look awesome if they if they would actually do that. Yeah. I mean, calling out Perfect Effect to give us some help with putting these things in there somehow. Because they look good, you know? Maybe just put something in here, like a, like a combiner slot, and then that has a hole, and then you could put that there. He looks good with these legs. I don't know. Oh, you can put them here. So there's a there's a peg right here and there's a hole which you can actually just put it in. And that's that looks like a a bruiser or a berserker grimlock. Um Yeah. Uh, I mean he's cool. I'm very happy that I got him. But I didn't really expect that he's going to be this light and simple. He's solid, though. Yeah, pretty solid, but kind of simple. Um, I'm going to try to transform him without the manual. Uh, let's just try to figure out how this works. Um, I guess we're going to put the legs together. <laughs> yeah, 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 it does. It does like that, and then just... Put this thing here. Ooh. Oh, okay. So yeah, this is I don't I don't like this. You know, this is the tail. And the tail looks really thick. That kind of even looks like a nose cone or like a fuselage of a jet. That is one big chunky tail. I mean we can't really do something about that because this is the combiner port right here. So yeah, I guess. Uh what do we do next? I know that this is gonna be the legs, so Oh, oh, wow, it opens. All right. What do we do? Okay. Huh. All right. So we're going to bring it down, I guess. Oh, okay. So there's a... There's a peg right here that's going to slot, I guess, here. Let's try that. Can we angle it? No, yeah, it does. Okay, I'm cool. I'm getting it. Okay, let's see. Okay, so that goes there, and then I guess we're gonna, you know, that's a very obvious thing to do, just fold the hands in, and uh, bring this here, I guess. Okay, so we're starting to see a dino right there, and it doesn't close. What are you, mech fan toys? <laughs> uh, oh, how do you... Okay, so it just closes like that. Ah, okay, I see. All right, it just closes like that. But, okay, mine's kind of not closing in, and there's, like... Okay, and then they're just going to put the head down. Oh, okay, so it does close. It, But no, no, it doesn't close. See that? There's a seam line. It can't close and just flush. Uh, okay, it's in a ball joint. The hands are in a ball joint. I don't like the figure that I got. It's not closing flush. And then you got a dinosaur. <laughs> that was easy. That was an easy transformation. It doesn't even take a like a genius to actually do that. It's definitely simplified. Um So he looks like a flat lizard. Can it open? Yes it can. Alright, okay, cool. But can we do this? Oh, okay, yes, it does. And do... Oh! Okay, oh, oh, sorry. It's opening again. It's not locking in tight. Maybe I'm doing something wrong with the locking mechanism, but it's not locking in. I don't like those toes. That... That's some very small-looking toes right there. That's not cool. But I like the face, though. I like it. I like the face. I like the dyno mode. Like this, but I don't like that seam line. That gap is just tearing me apart. It doesn't close. 
Oh my goodness, this is not cool, Hasbro. That is that is not cool. But definitely I like the face. I like the face of Grimlock right there. It's it's very G1-ish. The the look is very very nice. I like the molded detail that they've put here. It gave, gave a lot of effort in, in doing this. But, oh, okay. So, uh, does it do that? Do I have to just like do that so that the Titan Masters can sit here? Or do I... Again, we haven't read the manual, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, but he looks pretty cool. I like it. So, where do we put these things now? Is there a kibble? Oh, okay, so we're going to put it in here. Okay, that's kind of dumb. Like, what? Do you, what is that? <laughs> that's not. I, I don't like it. I don't. I don't like that. They could have just placed it somewhere underneath, you know, like here. That would look a lot more cooler if you ask me. If they did, if they did that. But yeah, I guess that's what we get for a combiner dinosaur. I don't know how to do the, combi the combiner section yet. I'll probably do that in the next video. But let's do a quick comparison with FOC Grimster. We have the Grimlock right there. And we have another Grimlock right here. Classics Grimlock. So for, for the longest time, the only Grimlocks that I've gotten were these, were, were these two. And then Combiner Wars. I mean Combiner Wars. Uh, Prime... Power of the Primes comes along. So, you be the judge. I don't know who, who looks better. Um, I don't have the MFT guys right now, and we don't have the MFT Grimlock yet, so so we'll have to wait for that. But honestly, this, the Power of the Primes Grimlock look very G1-ish. The FOC Grimlock looks very T-Rex. This guy, I can't even say something about it. He's, he's, the, he's the chug, you know, he, he's cool. He's... He looks like a Spino, but he is what he is. That is the classic Grimlock, and we can't, you know, say no to that guy. We love that guy, but overall, they they look very unique in their own right. Let's take out our guests away. Uh, let's check out that bio card. So this is the bio card to Grimlock. I don't know what's going on with the power of the primes. It says it breaks through his enemies don't want to hear what oh speaks I'm sorry not break speaks truths to his speaks truth to his enemies I'm sorry I'm, I can't read it so there but Liege Maximo there you go Grimlock and I guess I'll have to read this later on and play around with it so there's most likely oh look at that uh the schematics to transform him into Volcanicus and I guess the parts that you need um, so yeah so that's that's pretty much it very quick um, I'm gonna just figure out where to do this I mean where to put this thing here oh, I can see something in the mouth oh where'd it go it fell into oblivion okay I can't find it it fell into oblivion uh, I'll try to I'll try to put that I'll try to maybe try to find it. Oh yay, you found it. Okay. Oh, so he bites that, yeah. It's like a me Grimlock munch on this. So yeah. So there you go. He is pretty easy to transform. He is kinda light. Love the paint, love the details, don't like the tail. There's some hollow points, hollow sections. The face looks fantastic. The stickers are kind of meh. And there is that giant gap that we can't close. So if you got your Grimlocks today from the Power of, Power of the Primes release, uh, check out that section. But yeah, very happy, very grateful. Special shout out to Sir Eric for helping us out get these little suckers right here very nice figure um, not the perfect Dinobot but definitely something that we have been waiting for so if you don't have the power of the primes yet you know ride the hype train <laughs> go ahead and get it he's priced at a hundred uh, a thousand 
1,599. So that's like six, uh, 1,600 pesos. Mm -hmm. Kind of expensive from the usual price of the the Voyager classes that I, I'm used to. So I, I don't know what's the price hike happening. What's what's going on with the price hike? But there, you can get them in Toys R Us and in Toy Kingdom where I got this. Thank you, Toy Kingdom, and thank you for watching this very quick review. We're gonna tune in more with uh, Grimlock and the rest of the dinos soon. So thank you for watching. Till all are one. Peace out.